Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me and for this week's art I'm using this kit from Sweet Bella XOXO. It is one of her, I think it's like the two page kits that she offers which are so fun because you get a lot of things that like obviously match the kit but you also get to pull in a lot of stuff so I really like playing around with these and creating some spreads for you guys but I hope you guys are excited that today is the first day of Planmas. <laughs> I know this video is going up crazy late, but I did write my last final today and then right after I got ready and then went for dinner with one of my girlfriends. So I just got home, just washed off my face, um, and I am now recording this voiceover, which I realize it's like 11 p.m. You guys, I mean, by the time this goes up, it's gonna be really really the end of the day but I still really wanted to get this video up today because I wanted to start plan miss today because I promised that I would um and I didn't want to leave it to the next day so I was like you know what I am going to go home I am exhausted but I will record this voiceover and get this plan with me up I hope I have the photo for this thumbnail done already I think I do which will save me some time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was just like, I was at dinner and I was like, oh no, I'm supposed to start plan miss today. And I was telling my friend and she's like, all right, well, you got to go home and record your voiceover. I was like, oh, such a true, you know, PLP um, supporter is like, let's get you home to record your voiceover. <laughs> and I loved it. Um, but okay, let's get into what I did for this spread. So I used some Simply Gilded Bow Washi um, as like the second strip of washi, like the skinnier one. And then the other one I used was from the kit. I did also cut out the little like sliver that's in between the sidebar piece and the bigger piece to make it like one consecutive piece. I kind of like doing that with um, the Sweet Bella XO kits because then I could just cut my Simply Gilded Washi as one row as well um, and kind of have it, you know, be consistent throughout so I do prefer doing that and then I placed the to-do headers that came with the kit uh, all along at the top of every single day the bow headers that I used on top of the full boxes those are actually from paper blush bar I picked them up uh, last year on Black Friday I believe I think that's when it was or maybe it was when she reopened her shop um, sometime in 2020 I can't remember but they are like a washi roll with headers and I thought like the darker pink matched kind of well like looking at it now it doesn't match as well as I'd hoped but um, I think when it was on the roll it was like a perfect match so yeah I ended up just leaving it also the bows at the bottom I thought were a closer match to like the peachy color in the full box like for example on Monday Again, it's not perfect, but it's close enough. And so I kind of just stuck with it and, you know, left it there rather than changing it. And so on to the sidebar, I used the full box. It says, hello, autumn. Was this the first week of autumn? That's a wonderful question. I think it was actually. I think this is the week, I think Wednesday or Tuesday. One of those days was the first day of fall. I actually didn't mark it in my planner, but I mean, it was... Happy fall, y'all. We're about to hit winter in a few days here, so that's kind of funny. Um, anyways, I underneath that used another one of the paper blush bar headers that were like on the washi strip. I used a floral box from my shop to mark which week of school I was in. I was in my third week. And then I also used a habit tracker with a study script from my shop because gotta do that. <laughs> Um, and then another paper blush bar header as well as this uh, like to-do list that I kind of marked some things that I wanted to get done throughout the weekend and I think it's really pretty. I like the lacy pieces in it as well as the um, like foiled bows. I think the contrast of those two looks really cute. And then what did I do under? I also under the full boxes used some of these Dash of Sun designs um, like straight line dividers just to bring in a little bit more foil. And I think that was pretty much it for the base. If I missed anything, oh, the, the day covers. Those were from Paper Crown Planner. Um, and those ones actually matched really well with the kit. So um, I did like that. So on Monday, I had class. Um, so I marked that. I marked my classes the same way. I used the fancy boxes from my shop as well as actually everything in that section is from my shop, like the fancy box, the laptop icon, the tiny bow and the class script. 
and actually the um, swoosh underneath that. That's from like the Swooshes 2.0 sheet. And then I did do some cooking. I cooked lunch this day, so I used a little quarter box. Her quarter boxes are like super skinny. Um, so I wanted to pull in this like little lacy piece on top of it. I can't remember if it's from um, Honey Inked or Olive Planner Co. I think when I pull in the sheet again, maybe I'll be able to like sneak a peek there, but I can't really tell right now because honestly, a lot of like those lacy headers that I have kind of look similar to me. Anyways, later this day, I did work on orders. So I used a half box with a printer icon from my shop and then I watched Good Girls. So I used a TV bow icon and I also layered that on top of a little arrow from the kit. On Tuesday, I painted my nails. That nail polish icon is from my shop and then I layered it on top of this little flag from the kit and I used another flag. I often don't like using flags so close to each other but I actually used a decent amount of flags on this day like I used one to layer the nail polish I used one as a label for um, like right underneath that and then at the bottom of the day I also used like a checklist flag to kind of layer with again um, but anyways underneath the paint nails section I marked doing some self-care I used this really cute fall candle that's from the fall bow icon sheet from my shop I love that sheet so much and I love the little pumpkin on this candle and then I called one of my friends this day so I used another quarter box with that lacy divider sticker and then I did some yoga and stretching I used um, this really old yoga sticker from my shop that was I probably released this when I first started doing foil in my shop, which I want to say was in like 2018. So this is definitely not available anymore, but ugh, I love using these yoga stickers. Um, I do wish this kit came with some florals because I think the florals in it were stunning and I feel like it would have made layering really fun. And I mean, in reality, I could have gone and searched for these florals, but that's a lot of work. So I was not about to do that. <laughs> Um, anyways, in the evening, I also FaceTimed my cousin, so I used a phone bow icon and layered it on top of a checklist from the kit, like I said, um, just kind of to mark that in. On Wednesday, I marked watching Bachelor in Paradise. Ugh, I want the <laughs> season to come back, but I gotta wait till summer, obviously. I would be happy with Love Island as well. Um, I only watched the US one, and everyone says that the... I think it's the UK one that's better, but I haven't watched it. Um, so like, maybe I should do that. I've also heard of Temptation Island, which sounds so dramatic, but like juicy. And so I might be watching that during this winter break because I am on winter break now, which ugh, I'm so excited. Anyways, under Bachelor in Paradise, I marked class again. And then I'm kind of just playing around with like some spacing here, which clearly I am struggling with, but figured it out in the end and it turned out really cute. Um, after class, I went and I um, got some drinks. So I used the Sadie Stickers quarter box. It has these like little stars in the corner, but I covered like some of them up because <laughs> the stars didn't really make sense for this kit. But, you know, we can just pretend they're just deco. The wine glass is from my shop and then I actually went to see a candlelit quartet this evening. It was really cool. It was, there were just like candles everywhere and four people, obviously a quartet. <laughs> uh, we thought it was going to be an orchestra, but it ended up being a quartet. And this is so something that's like out of my element. I would never just choose to go see like a string quartet, but um yeah, one of my friends just wanted to go see it. And I was like, okay, let's do it. Sure. <laughs> I'm open to it. So we did that, grabbed some drinks before. Um, and then we also got pizza after, you know, we're a little classy and then had to get pizza and ruin it all. <laughs> but I marked the pizza occasion with this pizza box icon from White Deer Stationery. And I also added a tiny bow from my shop to that. And then here I'm just kind of placing the last two days of the week that I had classes. So I had class on Thursday and Friday as well. Just putting those down so I don't forget which way the um, laptop icon has to go because I was like alternating which day I used like which way, if that makes sense. I think it makes sense. I think you guys get what I'm saying. And then um, underneath that I used another swoosh. Why am I out of frame here? There we go. Um, I used another swoosh, the same one as on Monday, the one that's from my shop, and then marked studying. Um, 
So I used a half box from the kit, a desk doodle icon, and a study script, both from my shop. And then I had a doctor's appointment this day, so that um, stethoscope icon is from Sadie Stickers. And I used this little burger icon from White Deer Stationery to mark getting McDonald's with my cousin. <laughs> um, and then... I, I really love these little burger icons, which is obviously the only reason I go to McDonald's. Not anything to do with the food. No, never. Me? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anyways, um, Friday I marked that I was watching 90 Day Fiance. I don't know why I was watching it so late in the week, but also I would love to know when the new season comes back. Um, I know that like 90 Day the other way just ended and I'm already ready for 90 Day the regular one. I think they usually do like Happily Ever After or The Single Life. They usually do those in between, but I don't really watch those ones. I tried to watch a few episodes of The Single Life, but it wasn't really my thing. And I actually also did try to watch Happily Ever After, but I don't know. I kind of, it wasn't, it wasn't drawing me in. So I didn't really end up watching it for very long, but I marked all that with the TV bow icon and a arrow from the kit. And then my dad and I went to Costco because this was the day that the iPhone 13 was being released and I decided I wanted one. <laughs> but frankly, I had the iPhone 10. So it had been, I think like, I think I got the iPhone 10 like four years prior to getting the 13. So honestly, there was nothing wrong with it. Like it was working perfectly fine. Like the battery wasn't great, but it was it was honestly just fine I think I just like wanted a like crisper camera and just something new so I did get a new phone um which was really exciting I went to Costco because they like it, it was no difference they just they had the one I wanted available <laughs> I just wanted the regular 13 in the white color so I called a bunch of places and Costco had it available so I went there to mark the Costco trip I used a um, spending icon from my shop the new phone obviously used the iPhone sticker from my shop. And then I used this cute little fall sticker from Miss and Meow um, that's no longer available. It's like from her older shop that says sweater weather because I remember it was very chilly this day. So I put that on top of a flag. And then Saturday went and grabbed Starbucks with um, one of my girlfriends. So I used a third box with a latte sticker from my shop. I love those little hand stickers. Like I think they're so cute. Like the newer icons, um, like the spending one that I used on Friday and then the latte one on Saturday. I just, I think they're so cute. And if you're wondering, they are also available in um, two skin tones, like a lighter option, which is what I use and a darker option, which is also available if that matches your skin tone more. Um, but then I did some baking this day. So I used another Miss and Meow sticker with a flag. And then this day I watched a movie called Chocolat. Chocolat? I don't know. Guys, I took French for so long from like grade four to grade nine. I guess that's not even that long. But I stopped French as soon as I could, which I kind of regret. I wish I spoke French. But I guess just taking French class in school won't really teach you the language. But... I, I kind of wish I stuck with it, but it is what it is. Anyways, it was a really cute movie. I marked it with a quarter box and another lacy icon and then used another swoosh there. And then I watched the UFC fight, which I really do not care about UFC, but the people I was with um, enjoyed it and wanted to watch it. And I was like, okay, we can watch UFC. That's totally okay with me. Um, and then Sunday I slept in cause we were up really late on Saturday. So I used a pillow doodle from my shop and then I grabbed lunch with some of my girlfriends this day. And so originally I put the lunch in the half box and meant to mark like the coffee and donuts underneath, but I, when I was writing it in, I messed it up. So I kind of just ended up switching the icons, but the half box is from Sadie Stickers and then both icons are from my shop. We got some tacos and then coffee and donuts. <laughs> it was delicious. And then I capped off the day with a little Miss and Meow sticker. So I hope you guys like this plan with me. I hope you're excited for plan miss. I'm sorry this is going up late, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, see you go, say, bell, jingle, and ring, jingle, jingle.